Nicotine, a highly addictive and harmful chemical used by so many people around the world, rapidly enters the body and reaches the brain, where it triggers the release of dopamine, creating feelings of pleasure and alertness. However, this temporary high comes with serious risks, including not limited to addiction, long-term health problems, and damage to the brain and body. As the effects wear off, the brain craves more nicotine, leading to a cycle of dependence which becomes harder to break every single time. Hi, I'm Abdullah al Khazak, a passionate student at the University of Sharjah, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at how nicotine affects the body, the challenges of quitting, and the steps you need to take to break free from this addiction, once and for all. When nicotine enters the bloodstream, it increases heart rate and blood pressure, which puts strain on the cardiovascular system. Over time, it can lead to heart disease, stroke, and even lung damage. Smoking, the most common way people consume nicotine, also exposes your lungs to harmful bacteria, increasing the risk of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and cancer. Aside from its physical effects, nicotine can also take a toll on mental health. The cycle of dependence and addiction causes mood swings, irritability, and anxiety. So this begs the question, how to break free from nicotine script? Well first, set a date. This gives you a concrete goal and allows you to mentally prepare. Next, consider the use of NRT, nicotine replacement therapy. This helps you ease cravings by using lozenges, gums, and patches. Another essential step is having a support system, whether it's friends, family, or healthcare professional. Having someone by your side goes a long way and can help you incredibly. Exercise and other healthy habits are also important to consider because they keep your mind busy and help you crave less nicotine. Remember, quitting nicotine is not easy, it is a journey, but with the right support and with persistence, you can overcome this addiction. The key is to be committed, be patient, and reach out for help when you need it.